Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you're ready for some new all-time highs like I am, make sure to please drop a like on the video. All right, so we ended up closing the day down 8.85% in the red, but we did somehow end up over $40, which is good. Overall, in the grand scheme of things for the short squeeze play, today was just yet another red day. It doesn't really make too much of a difference, although there are some important things to take note of. So let's go into a little bit about what's actually going on in the market and, and then how it will affect AMC stock. So by the numbers, global stock market tumbled Monday with Dow futures declining of nearly 700 points or nearly 2%, leading the way lower in the United States. A number of emerging investment risks led to the widespread selling. Hong Kong dropped more than 3% overnight on concern about possible market contagion stemming from the embattled Chinese property developer. European stocks also sank as Wall Street followed. Investors were already concerned about the seasonably rough month of September and the historical trend of the back half of the month being especially weak. The Dow Jones Industrial Average and S&P 500 Nasdaq fell Friday as of last week. So just a side note guys, September as a whole for the market is normally very, very weak. I think September historically always ends red. The Federal Reserve two-day September policy meeting which starts Tuesday is also a wild card for the markets. So not only do the markets have the Evergrande situation going on, which Evergrande is teetering on bankruptcy, we also have a very important Federal Reserve meeting where the Fed's going to talk about tapering, and this could really shake up the market. Central bankers are considering when to begin tapering bond purchasing against a backdrop of elevated inflation and a recovering economy. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell has mentioned that rising prices pressure will be temporary. With Evergrande on the brink of collapse, analysts are worrying the, poten the potential fallout could have far-reaching implications beyond China. After expanding rapidly for years and snapping up assets as China's economy boomed, Evergrande is now snowed under a crushing debt load of $300 billion. Evergrande said its escalating troubles could lead to broader default risks. Secretary Janet Yellen issued another plea to Congress to raise the federal debt ceiling in a Wall Street Journal opt-it. Sunday, Yellen said failure to do so would lead to the first ever U.S. default and compound the damage from the lockdowns. Yellen said last week that the Treasury would exhaust its emergency efforts to make payments on debt already incurred sometime in October. The intersection of all these worrisome factors led investors to sell stocks, risk assets, and buy bonds. The Treasury yield, which moved inversely to price, dropped Monday around 1.31%. U.S. oil prices fell 2% on Monday. And Bitcoin, which has seen some recent strength after the summer sell-off below 30,000, dropped 9% on Monday. The world's biggest cryptocurrency traded around 43,000 in early morning. It hit an all-time high of over 64,000 in April. So as you guys see, there's a lot going on in the markets right now. The markets overall were very, very red throughout the day, across the board, really. Every single index was down. And this could mean the mother of all short squeezes coming sooner than we thought. But let's look into what happens if there actually is a market crash. I keep seeing dozens and dozens of apes asking what will happen if the market crashes. What will happen to AMC, you ask? AMC has negative one-year beta. What does that mean? It means the stock has an inverse correlation with the entire market, meaning if the market crashes, AMC should not. There are a lot of stocks with negative beta. We've talked about this before, and I've seen this before. Back in the day when GME was first squeezing... We saw AMC and GME at a certain point stop selling off and then trading basically inversely from where the market was trending. Number two, retail investors only account for 10% of the entire market, 90% by financial institutions, investment firms, hedge funds, and so forth. A crash happens because these institutions and large firms are selling off. AMC, on the other hand, is unique. It's owned by at least 80% retail investors. Personally, I think we own at least 90% or more. And that's just legitimate shares, not accounting for synthetics. Apes own the majority of the float. AMC will only crash if AMC apes start selling. But overall, since the apes will not sell, it will not crash AMC. In conclusion, quit being nervous. AMC to the moon. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.